got pulled over by the police because some jerk wouldn't let me merge to the left and the police officer took it out on me and he let me go no warning just gave me a, a little speech about the emergency vehicles now some of you are gonna say I'm willing to bet because of this corrupt and wicked culture that we live in the guy in the I want to say dark gray more blackish color well they're making like all these vehicles with like weird colors nowadays it's all about black colors dark colors nowadays black rims but anyways I bet you that guy and he was being a jerk honestly he kept he kept insisting like nudging in front of me but in this car you know I just downshift step on it and there's no way he could out beat me but anyways I I I, I did get in front of him but the, the cop told me to move to the side and he gave me a speech but I'm willing to bet that the dumb person driving the selfish evil person driving said to himself ah ah instant karma instant karma that's all you hear people nowadays like this other guy that I know he's like I believe in karma no well FYI do you even know what karma means it means reincarnation it is a Buddhist religious uh, theme you are quote you're practically saying you believe in in something in Buddhism or some of you thinking is oh well he did something bad and I'm something bad and, and, and he got a revenge for me or or something bad he did something bad so something bad happened so that doesn't exist people to begin with in the first place all right, I'm a believer in God. I'm a believer in Jesus. I believe in the God of the heavens and the earth, not these uh, fork, was it fork load, fork load, or these um, mythical beliefs, because uh, like the Apostle Paul told uh, these Gentiles when he was going through this town where they had never heard the gospel before, he told the people there that. He gives rain and crops to the good and the bad. So if that's the case with your karma belief, some people wouldn't deserve to eat or to drink or housing over the roof, a job. No, and you know, I'm gonna tell you something. There's a lot of evil people in this world, real evil people that have caused genocide, mass murder. Uh, there's people out here that murder people and to this day, they've never been arrested there's no evidence against them or the evidence that there is is inconclusive and they can't find a murder how many people family members have been raped killed how many of you have been robbed and where's karma in that no that's that's because that it's 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 not what you guys are saying it is it's not true there's no such thing no i'm not saying for you to go do bad and nothing bad is going to happen to you because you know the bible does speak as what you sow is what you reap um, like in the book of uh, I want to say either Corinthians or Romans talks about uh, sexual immorality that it gives birth unto death so yeah there is consequences for your actions but all of you out here be like oh instant karma they, and they got all these videos instant karma or this, this other guy uh, watch out of Canada oh good karma there's no such thing there is just no such thing as luck karma that's all lies from the devil and i'm gonna tell you guys something i bet you that guy would have never realized that i got away the guy the, uh, and the cop told me i could leave so and i've done a lot of bad things in my life i've done a lot of horrible things i've been a real bad person i've made so many horrible rude decisions and if that's the case i shouldn't even be alive so I mean, look at what happened to me on Tuesday night. I fell off the trailer and got really badly hurt. And look at me. Now I'm going back to work here on Thursday. So I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I got hope in him. I got hope in God. I don't deserve it. And what happened to the... And there's a lot of fake Christians confessing karma because, you know, when you talk about the law, the law of Moses, oh, we're not under the law. But then you're saying you believe in karma. So you contradict yourself. Because if that's the case, your karma belief, which is not really karma belief, because you know it's reincarnation. If that's the case, you're saying you don't, you, we're not under the law, but you're invoking something out like kind of like the law. Oh well, you did this, so it's revenge for me. 
oh you did this so now something bad's happening to you that's like that's a law you're you're practically and then where is this law at where is it written at where is it at who who invoked it who who made it a law <laughs> that's the other thing anyways god bless you jesus loves you thought i'd share that really quick with you guys and um don't follow the traditions of this world that's all i gotta say uh the bible says if you love this world you love this world you hate god so that's in uh, book of hebrews i want to say chapter it might be no book of james chapter four if i remember correctly verse might be verse four if i remember correctly you love this world you hate god simple as that all right god bless you guys jesus loves you come and this guys by grace like the apostle paul said to all those gentiles god reigns rain gives you food to eat and that totally contradicts the belief in karma later